with receivers nowadays, we love to use the word dynamic. And that there could be so many words that can be associated with dynamic. It could be speed, acceleration, catching, catch radius, spectacular, spectacular catching, explosiveness. If you want to kind of bunch all those words into one receiver, the receiver, the first one this draft that comes to my mind is Penn State wide receiver Jahan Dotson. And, you know, no, he's not Jameson Williams, who got to play with Bryce Young. He's not Chris Olave or Garrett Wilson, who played with, you know, Justin Fields, then TJ Stroud, two excellent quarterbacks. He's not even, you know, a guy like Drake London, who got to play with Keaton Slovis, who was a really good starter for a couple of years at USC. He played with Sean Clifford, who was a very up and down quarterback at Penn State for the last few years. And what Dotson was able to do, despite, you know, the inconsistencies of Clifford is, you know, unbelievable. And here's a film study that I'm doing of Jahan Dotson and why he might be one of the most spectacular wide receivers in this year's draft class. This first example of Dotson just shows how much he is as kind of in his catch radius. He is, he's only five foot 11. He's not a huge receiver, 184 pounds, but he has great length and he knows how to bring down the football just despite his size. So this is a really good example of it on this play against Auburn. What you're going to see here is that Dotson standing right here. He's going to do kind of a drag out the back of the end zone. He's not one of the options here. The top option is this running back in the flat. And then when this receiver is going to motion in and he's going to kind of do a stop route. Dotson's just kind of a decoy, but Auburn's going to play a little bit of a zone defense here. They're going to rush these guys up front all for these. He's going to come back and spy this guy on the edge right here. But they're going to kind of play as a, a zone to kind of guard the goal line. This safety's going to play back with Dotson. I think does a really good job here of just kind of finding the gap in there. And he's going to help out Sean Clifford, the quarterback, when his top options aren't there. And Dotson's going to really bail out Clifford for not a perfect throw. So we'll see the replay. They motion this receiver. And Clifford immediately looking here in the flat for the running back. It's not there. This is going to be covered up pretty well from Auburn. Dotson's over here. He's going to do a good job of getting around the safety and creeping out to this backside. So Clifford, so pause it here. Dotson right here. He's pretty much wide open. I don't think anyone in Auburn's making a play on him right now. He has his hand up. He's staying right middle edge of the tee. Clifford still has the ball here. This ball is going to land all the way over there or so, kind of toward the edge of the E. So all the way back here, watch the ground that Dots is in the cover and make this catch. It's unbelievable the amount of times I see it. I still can't believe it. Right there. Unbelievable track radius. We'll see the better from the other angle, but he was standing like right around like here and so fast to come there. He gets both feet down, makes an unbelievable catch. You'll see it a little better from the second angle. So he motion this receiver over. Clifford takes a snap. We'll see his hand go up there right next to my face. Clifford rolls out. Like, this ball isn't even, like, like, he's wide open. Like, look, where's the closest Auburn defender? Like, right here? Like, there's a guy over here. Like, the extension that Dotson makes is unbelievable. Like, Clifford didn't need to put the ball out there, but Dotson does an unbelievable job pulling it down. He's going to get both feet down. The radius he has is incredible. Goes up and grabs it. Big play. Touchdown. This is going to be another example of the Dotson catch radius and how crazy it is. Uh, what we're going to see on this play is a deep cross. On a play action, he's going to kind of find a good gap over here. The play action is running back. Auburn is going to cover three little blitz. He's going to come off the edge. Blitz here, blitz here, blitz here. He's going to come off and go out and play the flat. Auburn's going to play cover three. He's going to go play deep. He's going to play deep. He'll play deep. Dotson does a really got really good job here of finding the gap in between between these three linebackers and you know these safeties and corners who are dropping back. Dotson gets in the middle, and he's going to make another unbelievable catch and show off that radius he has for his small size. So we will clear it up and take a look. The play action, and then Dotson. Just an unbelievable catch right there. Take another look at it. Going up. You'll see better from the second angle, but it's – this, this throw is behind Dotson. It's on the wrong shoulder, and he just still comes down and makes that unbelievable catch. Like, Clifford, this is once again, he just doesn't need to put this ball like he does. He could have thrown a laser, a really sharp pass, and could have gotten some catch and run with that also. But instead, Dotson just, whew. like, this is, this is unbelievable stuff, what Dotson does here. 
I want to pause it at the right time. Yeah. Like that's one handed. One handed. You want this ball kind of you want to catch him in stride here. He wants to put this a little lower with a chance to run, maybe juke out this the safety back here. But instead, it, he still makes an incredible adjustment, spins his body around, gets one hand on it. And just because he's such a crazy good athlete, he's able to pull it down. Can't make another play out of it, but just another unreal catch from Dotson showing off the radius he has, even despite a quarterback who couldn't hit the throw. This play shows off something else that Dotson does really well, and it's how sharp his route running is. He has really good route temperature, and I'm not talking about, you know, the weather, the seating. He understands how much separation he needs to give himself off a defender. So here he's being guarded by Auburn's corner, Roger McCreary. McCreary is one of the better corners uh, in really all of college football. He's going to be drafted uh, this year. He's playing man-to-man defense. He's playing a little off Dotson because – you can't press Dotson because he's, you know, he's so fast. You have to give him, you know, a little space to get to help kind of yourself help the corner because you get beat at the line of scrimmage, you're beat for done. So Dots or excuse me, McCreary is going to play back a little bit and he's going to respect Dotson's speed here. Dotson is going to do kind of a deep-ish slant. And what he's going to do really well is going to plant his foot in the ground and do a cross here on the RPO. And they're going to get a completion here. We'll break it down when we get there. So right here, McCreary respecting Dodson's speed. It's the only choice he has. Playing off right around there. That's about five-ish yards of separation right now that Dodson has. He's going to plant his foot in the ground and make a great cross. Right there, plants that foot, has five yards of separation against McCreary, and Clifford overthrows that pass a little bit. You'll, you'll see it a little better from this angle right here. They do the RPO, and... We'll take another look at that. Right there. That's it's a little outside of him. Makes a nice catch. The adjustment. One more again from the first angle. Yeah, Clifford leads him a little much here. You see, Dotson has to kind of extend a little bit to go get this ball, but maybe if it's thrown a little better, he can, you know, have a little more running space. But he says he's got to extend for that but just another great job from Dotson. Another example of just how dangerous his speed is, and it's not even him necessarily using his speed. It's kind of the respect that defensive backs have to give off him. This is Seven Banks, a really fast corner, also one of the faster corners on Ohio State. He's playing, what, this is, what, seven yards difference off Dotson? This is man defense across the board. He's going to take him. This linebacker safety is going to take right here. He's going to play here. He's going to go play deep half of the field. Uh, they're going to rush four. He'll take the back. He'll guard the middle of the field to try to double whoever's going to cross. And you see Banks here is going to be playing so far off Dotson that Dotson is able to use it to his advantage. Come back deep, curl back in. And watch watch how much separation Dotson is going to have off of Banks on the spikes. It's crazy every time I see it. Watch, he's sending him long. And yeah. By the time that Clifford is able to hit this throw into Dotson, there's about, what is this, 10 yards? It's about nine yards. And this is man defense also, but they're, Ohio State was at the point of the game, they weren't trying to give up big plays. And seven banks just saying, I'm not being, getting, I'm not getting beat by a 75 yard bomb to Jahan Dotson. He's a really good job cutting inside, selling like he's running the deep ball, comes inside, makes a good catch. And what I'm about to show you right here is my favorite Jahan Dotson play of the season, maybe of his entire career at Penn State. Uh, they're running a stack look at the bottom. They have stack looks on both sides, but that's not important. Uh, this receiver, Parker Washington, is going to run a post. And Dotson is just going to take the outside on a fly route. I think the option here is to go to Washington on the post, but it's not there because Illinois does a good job bl blitzing the A-gap. They send like three guys down there, and Sean Clifford literally has – Two seconds to throw the ball, and he panics and just throws the ball up, and Jahan Dotson does really the rest. Uh, they guard this pretty well. He's going to take this backside here. He's going to follow kind of this shorter side, and Dotson does a really good job finding the outside. And, again, he's not necessarily open and just makes something out of nothing. This is this is the play where I'm like, I watch this and I say, this receiver, Jahan Dotson, is special. And this is, the, this is the play that I watch. I'm like, yeah, I want to do a film breakdown on this guy because he has it. So we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll kind of break it down frame by frame. So Clifford 
They blitz in the A gap. He's got no time. He panics. He kind of, I, I kind of see what Clifford was seeing here. I'm also not a, a NCAA Division One quarterback, which is, is probably a little bit of a concern that maybe he sees that you know Dotson's got a step here and this safety is going to play you know the inside on this post. So you know maybe now that that he's taking that inside and they both have the inside there and maybe Dotson's got that one and one, but the safety is a good job kind of turning his break and guarding this side. And what Dotson does here is. I said it earlier, it's it's special. So it, this ball gets thrown up, and you see where that ball is now. You're trying to track it right now. Look, this is just – so we have Illinois defender here, defender here. This is like – it looks like they're trying to field a punt right now. They're just trying to find where it is. They're, they're on the punt. Uh, they're the gunners running downfield to try to stop it from going in the end zone. They're kind of just standing around trying to track it. But Jahan Dotson, he's got his eyes up too, and he's also the best receiver – of anyone, not just out of these four, but anyone out of this you know, entire stadium. Maybe not the best drawing for me there, but you get the point. Uh, he just goes up and able to kind of go around these. He reminds me of kind of what you know Jerry Rice used to do back in the day, way before, well before my time, but just to go up over defenders. It kind of This is kind of more Randy Moss, I guess, is probably the example I should use. But you got Moss. This is the ultimate example. This is probably on you got Moss, you know, the next day after that. So, again... We'll see what John does right here. Yeah, just going up and like, come on. Like, you can't teach this. Over three defenders, able to find a little gap between all of them and go up and bail out his quarterback and make an unbelievable grab. Just insane. And also hold on to that bell. And he said we get four more yards out of that, just pushing his body forwards. He's not a big guy. He's only 184 pounds, five foot 10, five foot 11. The throw from Clifford gets completely bailed out here. I, I said at the at the top where you know he may have had something, saw something that he had downfield, but Clifford just put in an awful spot, put it way inside, flings it downfield, screw it to Han down there somewhere. If this ball is outside shoulder, this could be a, a long touchdown, but instead it's inside. Yeah, no, if this ball is thrown out here, like Dawson's got to step over every one of these guys. Instead, he's got to track it like a punt. And does gives himself a really good kind of running start. And it's the ball tracking skills is unbelievable on this play. Gives himself a bit of a running start and then just goes up. And this is the the difference between a receiver and a safety. He is kind of waiting for the ball to come down to him. He's kind of trying to grab like at some point. And Jahan is going up and grabbing like this, going up and taking it, I should say, kind of like a rebound in the, the NBA. Goes up. That's the adjustment there. If, if Jahan's doing anything different, that's an incompletion or interception. But he goes up, which makes an unbelievable grab in this wide. I love this play just so much. Yeah. Unbelievable stuff there. And this is this is something special right here. You'll notice something I didn't really show in those videos where a lot of kind of deep routes or post routes from Dotson where he kind of just burnt the defense for touchdowns. I feel like that'd be a little too easy. If you remember the Maryland game, he had like over 150, I think, total receiving yards and a couple of them up big plays, but what I really wanted to show off in this film study is that, you know, he's not just a speed guy because that's the association that, that people give with Dotson, that he gets, you know, open space and he's able to run for touchdowns. I kind of want to show you his ability to find space and catch the football and really help out his quarterback. What I feel like he did a lot of in the examples that I showed. The receiver, I want to use the comparison. It's not really the one you're going to think of because – this is another receiver with excellent hands. He helps out his quarterback a lot. Very good catch radius. It's Washington Commanders wide receiver, Terry McLaurin. Uh, Dalton's a little smaller than him. Uh, he's a little slimmer, but and also a, a bit faster, I'd say, than, than Scary Terry. But I think dalton has got a lot of the same abilities. I think both of them are extremely dynamic receivers, is the word I use in the open. And his, Dotson's ability to accelerate, stop on a dime, make cuts is just incredible. I think he's going to be an excellent receiver when he gets to the pros. For second round pick, maybe late first round in my mind, but I wouldn't be surprised if he's one of the best receivers in the league in a couple of years. Hope you enjoyed that film study. We got a few more coming before the draft. It's combine time. It's almost March. Here we go. NFL draft a few months away. Follow along. We got some more stuff on the way.